In this video, we will be visualizing the magnetic field and electron motion inside an electron cyclotron resonance ion source, or ECRIS. An ECRIS is used to produce beams of highly charged ions. At the center of an ECRIS is a cylindrical chamber which contains a plasma that is confined by a magnetic field. There are other configurations in ECRIS, but our focus is in this particular design aimed for production of highly charged ion beams. Here the ECRIS magnetic field is generated by two large parallel ring coils and bar magnets. The electrons are heated by electron cyclotron resonance with an external RF power source, and the ions are charge bred by impact ionization with the electrons. The multiply charged ions are then extracted. The complex looking magnetic field lines in an ECRIS can be understood more simply by looking at the fields generated by the coils and the bar magnets separately. The coils generate a magnetic mirror field which provides axial confinement of the plasma, making electrons bounce back and forth axially. Here the curves are the magnetic field lines. The gray surfaces are surfaces of constant field strength. Note the strength increases axially, providing axial confinement. Further note that the strength is weaker radially, not providing confinement. To provide radial confinement, a second magnetic field configuration is added. The field is often generated using six bar magnets producing a hexapole field. The field lines lie in planes perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder. Adding this field to the mirror field causes the field lines to bend outward toward the chamber wall. By combining the hexapole field with the magnetic mirror field, we obtain the full complicated looking ECRIS field. Note that when both fields are present, the surfaces of constant magnetic field strength are closed. Field line visualization is informative because electron motion is roughly tied to the field lines. There are three main populations of electrons in the configuration we are interested in. The first population has orbits that are tied closely to the magnetic axis and mainly see the mirror field. The second population has orbits that are off axis and just begin to feel the hexapole field. The third population is far off axis and have orbits that flare out toward the chamber wall because of the strong influence of the hexapole field. In addition to motion along the field lines, the electrons drift due to the gradient and curvature of the magnetic field. Electron drift is proportional to this vector field for electrons about halfway to the wall. The arrows point in the direction of the drift, and the colors show the relative speed of the drift. The greatest drift is near the midplane. Although the drift is weak at the ends, the field lines bunch up near the ends, and even a small drift can push an electron onto an entirely different field line. Therefore, the off-axis electrons have very chaotic orbits. This is a color plot of the magnitude of this vector field. To see what this looks like inside the cylinder, we will look at slices of this color plot. From here we see that electrons near the axis experience much less drift than electrons about 2.5 centimeters away from the axis. Finally, we look at several particles from each population as they move around inside this magnetic field. All particle simulations were done with Fartec's in-house Massively Parallel Particle Tracking Code, or MP2T. We hope this movie provided some insight to electron-cyclotron resonance ion sources.